most of it was um, the idea was to say something um, provocative um, and introduce ideas and dance music. For the most part, there had been poetry, uh, particularly like an Afro house, soulful house and stuff, kind of poetry that reiterates the role and the spirit of the dancer or the drummer. And, or, you know, you would take like a loop of a word and you play that loop over and over and you emphasize that word. It could be any kind of word, you know, related to anything. Then it's like, okay, well, um, what if there was more than one word? What if there was a sentence? And then you play that sentence over and over. What if there was another sentence and another sentence and another sentence? So then it kind of became this thing where you were introducing stories and, and paragraphs and pages into the middle of dance music. Garf and I first tried this out live on a dance floor for six months. Um, we did this thing called Jim Kelly and it worked. Uh, at least live. People were either dancing or listening or both. Some people would stop and come up to the DJ booth and want to know, what is that he's reading? You know, the power of words is interesting. You know, it's interesting, the power of words. The, po the, 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 the EP came out, Postcards from Strangers, and um, Sucre Sacre came out, and a lot of people really responded to that song. Um, in that song, I'm reading from my novel, Red Now Laters. And what I find interesting as the songs start to float, you know, out on the mixtape circuit and move around DJs, um, as you get feedback from people, the, the people were really responding to the message, and responding to the words in dance music, which almost sounds weird or feels like some kind of oxymoron or something like, dude, dance music. And you got words in it. Eventually, people started to look to Trinidad Sonoya, Mateo Sonoya, for having messages in their music, conceptual ideas um, introduced in a music format. And the key was that the music would have to be as potent and poignant and strong and, and sincere as the words and that they could stand apart from each other. Otherwise, you know, if it wasn't that, then if the music wasn't happening, then you'd have like a glorified audio book. That's lit house, literature and house music. And so I felt that, you know, I had something to say. So you know, I said it and you continue to say it and, and still make good music people could dance to, you know, but why not introduce ideas? You know, why not present concepts for people to think about? And that was kind of the point. <laughs>